Hi, this is Yvonne with Central Kentucky Talks, and I'm here today with Kay Peterson. How are you doing, Kay? I'm fine. Okay, and it is Valentine's Day. Yes, and, and I brought something for you. Did you? And the entire month of February, we're going to be celebrating. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Happy oh, Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's great. We'll have to put this box out here for everybody to, to see and want. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Everybody want my candy. Yes. yes you become the most popular person in town. Yes, you do. You become very popular when you have candy. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, romance novels. I mean, romance novels are like the best. Yes. Oh, and we got some additions here, too. And, you know, also I was thinking this morning, you know, about romantic dinners and yes. meals. And we have cookbooks that, that have all those different things in them, too. And it can all be found at the library. That's right. And it's, you know, beef bourguignon. Yeah. Or just something with, with a little red wine. Yes. And, or a lot of red wine. A lot of red wine, wine depending <laughs> on your taste. Yes. yes. Indeed. Well, let's start off with one of the novels that you've read. You, we're going to go through and you can give us a little... Um, talk on each one that, that well, you brought with you today. I haven't really read these, but these were recommended by the librarians here at Marion County Public Library. Okay. And they run the gamut of, there are 50 shades of gray novels, but if you're like too like, ooh, you know, yeah. don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> there, don't, there is something for everybody's taste, mm -hmm. like this one. It is in large print. Mm -hmm. So if you like if if you like to see what you're reading, <laughs> or really digest what you're reading, the library has large print, and it is a uh, a Civil War heroine series. It's not uh, romance; isn't just limited to today, the 21st century. Some people like historical fiction, mm -hmm. you know, set in the past where men were men and manly men, manly men and you know. Uh, uh, Poor, poor little old me women, yes. but they turn out to be strong heroines uh -huh. and uh, strong heroes. So uh, don't don't limit yourself if you're scared of today's fiction. Go back into the past. Mm -hmm. Read read about southern southern gentlemen and times gone by. Yes, and we have something here for uh, more of a Christian fiction. Mm -hmm. If uh, you're turned off about about the Fifty Shades or the or uh, the novels that are just a little too risque, we can go to Christian fiction, Halfway to Forever by Karen Kingsbury. Okay. And uh, very clean novels. I found that's more what I'm finding on Facebook these days. Not just the, you know, let's jump into the bed, you know, let's, you know, take this, take this to another level. Uh, more of a Christian fiction, a mail order, uh, mail order brides. Mm -hmm. oh. Very popular now. And, uh, uh, like I said, don't don't limit yourself. Okay. Here here's something, a more of a Regency or a Victorian. Oh, okay. Those are very popular. Aren't they? Very popular. You know, if you like uh, your heroine to be rescued by uh, some uh, duke with a lot of money and a drafty castle and a, and a cra crazy uncle, <laughs> and that's the only way you're gonna get the fortune. Well, here you go. Love those crazy uncles. Love huh? those crazy uncles. I mean, we all have them. Yeah, but here in the south, we put them on the porch yeah. <laughs> and, and let let them and uh, and show them for a while. We're, crazy goes back in our uh, family for generations. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, this is by Mary Below, uh, a, a, called a Regency or Victorian Romance, which you can tell by the, the lady she's wearing a, an Empire or Empire mm -hmm. dress. And you can usually tell by the way they're written, too. Yes. The, idea, the style in which yes. they're written. Yes, my lord and my lady, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know, they have a moat. <laughs> So you better behave yourself. You, know, you better behave yourself. There might be all alligators somewhere. <laughs> You'll end up in the moat. <laughs> you end up in the dungeon. Yeah, uh, oh, poor, no. poor lady. She'll lose her inheritance if yes. uh, uh, she do she doesn't uh, succumb to the duke's wanton ways or yes, something like on that. and on and yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah, blah blah. It's one yeah. of my patrons said, ninety year old patrons used to say a long time ago, been there, read about it. Yeah, about like hundred ways of cooking hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> And we have another one here, which is a more uh, modern mm -hmm. approach uh, to Christian fiction. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called Keeper of the Stars by Robin Lee Hatcher. And uh, just a, just another alternative. And like I said, uh, the print is sort of, sort of big, uh -huh. not bad. And 
because uh, I know a lot of people who read Harlequins or uh, any other type of novels. They're sitting there going like this, or you know, have, having like me having to get out the cheaters and yeah. and like Did she really do that. Yeah. Uh, he really said that, yeah. but uh, just so, just not limit yourself. Oh. Well, that's a good idea, you know, because, and also, uh, it, it gives you a little bit more roundness to your personality, too, when you can, can read them in different different genres. Genres. Yeah. Uh, it, it gives you a, a different way of speaking. Uh -huh. uh, here's another one from uh, Eloisa James, My American Duchess. Uh, many times around the turn of the 19th to the 20th century, women with, with money decided they wanted titles. Or their parents decided they needed a title, mm -hmm. so that they would send their send their daughter with a chaperone to Europe to do the, the grand tour, mm -hmm. and she and to be presented into society, and they would uh, meet eligible young men, poor but with a ninety nine point nine percent of the time they were poor and ha had no money, and they were looking for a woman mm -hmm. to complete them. So it was a, an arranged marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. An arranged relationship. An arranged relationship. But then she would end up with becoming a duchess. Yes, she would have a title. A title. He would have the, he would have the money. Yeah. <laughs> and dad paid for it and all. And dad paid for it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And daddy's just saying, well, that's that's my girl. Yes, That's indeed. my girl. That's what else do we have here? Okay. Got a couple here. Lydia's Charm. This is uh, more of an Amish. So you, uh, very clean. Mm -hmm. Uh but uh, the Amish t uh, romance novels, very twisted because, you know, the Amish have their own culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's a way to look at, see things from their point of view. Mm -hmm. And just uh, 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 love, and a lot of times here, arranged. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes, gr little girl has a mind of her own. Okay. And uh, it, it, it has a lot of twists and turns. And... It, it, it's, it's, an, it's a good afternoon read. Yes. Yeah. When the days are gray and cloudy, we're not having any snow, but if rainy, cloudy day, mm -hmm. just something just something a little pick-me-up. Yes. Well, well, today is Valentine's Day, so if you you know you need a little pick-me-up, you knock your shoes off and yeah. get on the sofa and get a little blanket or something and grab one of these books here and mm -hmm. uh, have yourself a good read. Have yourself a good read. Yes, indeed. We'll hand you this one. Okay, Alexander McCall Smith and the lady, number one ladies detective agency novel. Now this is uh, ethnic, uh, uh, African. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're South African. And uh, they saw, uh, these ladies solve murder mysteries. Oh. Yes. So. Uh, this is part of a series. Very, very widely read. Uh, in fact, the back of the book said, Entrancing, a tapestry of extraordinary nuance and richness. Mm -hmm. So, love is not just confined to the United States. Love is worldwide. Love, love matters. Yes, it does. Yes, and it you does. you take it with you wherever you go. And you take it with you wherever you go. Single, uh, no matter what your situation in life. If you've got love in your heart. You're all good. You're all good. All right. All right, and our uh, last one here. A matter of the heart. heart. This looks more like a uh, cowboy. Yeah, uh, you know the he comes off on his on his uh, trigger or whatever. <laughs> this big old horse. Big old horse and just sweeps her off her feet. Yes. Uh, basically, maybe whose heart was broken when the man she intended to marry wedded another. So. Uh, he's <laughs> Harrison Gable is a successful young lawyer with ambitions that mask Jessica's dreams. His warm, attentive manner and thoughtful gifts makes her feel special. But uh, a former Secret Service agent e enjoys working now as a Texas Ranger cattle inspector. Wow! All Steve Downs would like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this goes out to the Kent uh, Marion County Cattlemen's Association. You know, here novel romance novels just for you. Yes, indeed. So there's something which just goes to show that there's something for everybody yes. in the library. Yes. No matter what you're. Which, you know what you like reading. Sometimes you want to read the same things over and over again. But then again, if you want something new and exciting, something different, something different, and don't be afraid to ask the the staff at the public library. Yeah. They're here to help yeah. you. That's their job. It's customer service, and they will work nine ways to Sunday. Even bring it to you to your home if you need it to. Yeah. The bookmobile service. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you so much, Kay, for being with us today for. Um, 
romance novels and trying to get let everybody out there know that there's something for them. Now you don't have to be one of those people who's going to go out tonight for a big dinner or or maybe you didn't receive any candy today like I did, but you can go to the public library and get your romance novel that will what last you at least 12 hours that's tonight. right if you want to feel the love <laughs> come to the public the library that's right feel the love get one of these novels um you can go to the store and buy your own box of candy and enjoy yourself tonight. or you can wait till tomorrow when it's 75 percent <laughs> <laughs> but for tonight but for tonight but for tonight get yourself a book from the uh, public library here in marion county and uh, i wish you all a very very happy valentine's day happy valentine's day <laughs>